my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe so you don't ever miss an upload from me. And if you're an oldie but a goodie, thank you so much for coming back. So today I have a makeup tutorial for you guys. I know it's been forever and a day since I filmed a makeup tutorial. The last time I filmed one, I think I was like 37 weeks pregnant and now Uriah is three months old. So yeah, it's been a hot minute. But today I decided to use the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette, which I'm super duper excited to be sharing with you guys because I have been obsessed with this palette. I know there was a lot of fuss about it. Some people saying that the shadows really weren't that pigmented and that it really wasn't worth the price. I don't know what they was talking about because I absolutely love this palette. I think it is so gorgeous. So this is what it looks like. I know you guys have already seen it, but it's so, so beautiful. It has a lot of warm tones, a lot of orange colors, goes just just my kind of palette I love these kind of warm tone shades and then also it has like some blue and purple in the corner right here so I um, decided to do this kind of glamorous summer look I used um, golds and oranges just something that I thought would be really nice and appropriate for summertime now you're not gonna be wearing this whenever you're you know out and about like if you're gonna be outside for a long period of time because this will literally melt off of your face but this is something really nice and glamorous to wear if you're gonna be um, going on a date or you know somewhere where you're gonna be inside you know where the AC is kicking full blast okay so yeah I just wanted to do something that I thought would be really nice for summertime and if you guys would like to see how I got this look then of course all you have to do is keep watching so I'm gonna start off with my brows and I'm using the NYC brow pencil which is like 99 cents it's my all-time favorite one so once I have the shape of my brows I go back with the Sigma brow powder in dark brown and I just fill everything in And so my brows have a more sculpted look. I like to go around them with concealer. So I'm using this Graftobian palette and this just makes them look really nice and precise. I always like to prime my eyes just to make sure that my eyeshadow lasts a little bit longer. So I'm using the Laura Mercier Eye Basics Primer. So going in with my Jaclyn Hill and Morphe eyeshadow palette, I'm going to be using the shade called Pukey, and this is kind of a neutral brown color. It's great for a transitional shade, and I love to use a transitional shade because it just helps me blend my other colors better. So now I'm going in with the very beautiful gold color, and it's called Queen, and this color is so vibrant. So I'm applying it to the inner part of my lid. So right beside the gold shade, I'm applying this orange color called Fireworks, and I'm blending the two colors together. So what I like to do is kind of overlap the two just so that there is no harsh line. So I just kind of overlap the two and pat that orange color on top of the gold. So the next shadow that I'm applying is a deeper matte orange, and this one's called Hunt. I love this color because it's very, very vibrant. It's very pigmented, so it doesn't really take a lot of it. So now I'm gonna drag hunts into the crease area and I'm using a fluffy brush to do so. And this is also just going to help blend everything out as well. And here I'm just touching everything up. Now I'm going in with the shade Jax and it's a deeper, deeper than hunts, kind of reddish orange color. And I'm putting this in my outer V area just to deepen everything up so to have a little bit of depth to the eye. Now I'm gonna take this lighter shade and apply it to my brow bone. And this is the shade Beam. I'm applying a little bit of mascara and I'm using the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot. I love this mascara. And the eyelashes that I'm using are by a brand called Monthly Mink. I received these in the mail and I couldn't find their website so I'm not exactly sure where you can purchase these. But now I'm gonna begin prepping my face for foundation and I'm using the Clinique Moisture Surge Hydrating Concentrate. And I love this because it 
just leaves my skin feeling really nice and smooth. For my large, large pores, I'm using the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer, which if I use a little bit of it, it works really well. Now I'm spraying my face with the Morphe Setting Spray. And for my foundation, I'm using the Becca Ultimate Coverage Foundation. You guys already know how I feel about it. I absolutely love this foundation. If you're looking for something that is going to give you nice coverage, but it isn't too thick, it isn't gonna give you that cakey look, then you have to go with this foundation. It's bad. Okay. <laughs> So for my concealer, I'm using this NARS Pot Concealer. It's the Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I've been using it for the past couple of months. I use the shade Biscuit. I love it. It's like a new favorite of mine because it's really easy to apply here lately. Whenever I'm in a rush, I can literally slap this up under my eyes. I don't have to blend it like completely out. And then I can just take my foundation brush like that, go over everything, and it's pretty good to go, okay? So I have really been loving this. Now I'm setting the concealer with the Kat Von D Lock It Setting Powder, which is a translucent powder. And I like it because it doesn't give me that ghostly look. It doesn't have a flashback or anything like that. And here I'm just taking my large powder brush and going over everything just so everything looks a little bit more nice and flawless. Now I'm going to start bronzing my face and I'm using the NARS Casino Bronzer. Um, it's really nice. Um, I like to use it before I go in and contour. So I just do it in the hollows of my cheeks and then also on my forehead. And to contour, I'm gonna be using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Face Contour Palette. And I love contouring with this product and I absolutely love contouring with this brush, the NARS Eda brush. If you haven't tried it, you have to try it. It is amazing. And now I'm going to contour a little bit down the sides of my nose. I try not to apply too much powder. If you've been here for a while, you know I've been butchering a nose contour. So I try not to use too much, just so it'll be really nice and natural. Now I'm gonna apply some blush and I'm using this one by MAC called Lovejoy. I love MAC's blushes, um, they're my favorite. I just feel like they're really nice and pigmented. So um, yeah, I'm just applying it to the apples of my cheeks and kind of brushing it um, back. <laughs> now for my highlight, I applied a little bit of Fix Plus to the brush and now I'm using MAC's Oh Darling Highlighter. And this used to be limited edition, but I'm pretty sure it's permanent now. So I'll have a link below if you guys are interested in checking it out. It's really gorgeous it gives you a nice glow but it's not too over the top because you know some highlighters they give you like the extreme like doing the most look so I like this highlighter because it gives you a glow but it's not over the top then I just go over everything just to kind of tone it down so it's not you know too wham bam in your face and now I'm just touching up my brows just kind of filling them in a little bit more for my lips, um, I'm using the Mud Slide Lip Pencil from Gerard Cosmetics, and this is a nice brown shade. And then for the actual lip color, I'm using a Liquid Lipstick by Kylie Cosmetics, and this is in the shade Exposed. It's a really beautiful nude color. I love a nice nude lip, so yeah, I like pairing this nude with the brown. And then I'm just going over the lip with this fluffy brush just to kind of help it blend a little bit more so it's not settling in the creases of my lip. And I totally forgot to finish up my eyes, so I'm using the shade Chip from the palette and I'm smudging it underneath my lash line and I'm applying mascara to my bottom lashes. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this look, then be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And as always, I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye!